Hi guys, it's DJ here from Coach RC. We got the G-Force Twin Mono here and we're going to speed run it. So I'm going to zero the GPS. So now it's at zero. We're going to put it in the hole. Today I'm running with Twin Turnergy XK 3674 2200 kV motors. I newly installed these, so this is the first run with these motors. Let's bring her in and check the speed. One hundred and five kilometers an hour. Okay, not bad. I just exchanged the props for 943 props, so 43 mm, 1.9 pitch. The same lipos, so they lost their initial juice, but let's see the speed. Put it to zero, or actually now it's four, but it's okay. Let's tape it up and try. Nice, but oh, bolt quit. I don't know why. Maybe a power cut. I didn't sharpen these props, so could be that that is the issue. lipo I guess I guess it's not a great speed because the lipos were already kind of drained but let's see yeah 94 94 okay I do have another set of lipos 4 amp 70c 6s which are more powerful than these 
So I'm thinking what should I do? Keep these props or switch the props for the golden 1.6 props, 1.6 pitch. I think I'm going to keep these, exchange the lipos and go for another run. So I put the lipos in my backpack and I put boiling water in this like a water sack to keep them warm. Alright, I will change the lipos. We got the G-Force back in the workshop. I really liked how the G-Force ran today. I didn't get a speed record unfortunately, but most importantly it ran very stable. So I did down trim the trim tabs slightly. They are still a hair above the waterline. So if I grab a ruler here and if I put it like this. Yeah, it's difficult to see, but there's still a hair, like maybe just a bit less than one millimeter between the trim tab and the waterline. And the same for the other side. And the stable running is the base for a speed upgrade. So I did install these new motors and this was the first run. It's a twin Turner GXK 3674 2200 kV on 6S, so that is a very high RPM setup. And now I'm thinking of course how to increase the speed. Well first of all the temperature of today didn't really help. It was just 2 degrees Celsius and I pre-warmed the lipos and I also took a water sack, this one, <laughs> with warm water and I kept it on the lipos until I ran them. So yeah basically to keep them at least a little bit warm. But still I think warmer temperatures will benefit the lipos and will uh, they will produce a little bit more power. I did run with two kinds of props. First run I ran with the 643 props. So 43 millimeter 1.6 pitch. That's these golden props. And basically 
yeah, I really like them. They perform great. And the second run, I run with these 943 props. So they are the same diameter as these golden props. Only they have a higher pitch. They are also like high rake props. You can see that the blades are facing backwards like a cone. And uh, I just grabbed these props. They are bone stock. I didn't sharpen them yet. And I know that if I sharpen them, they will perform better. So that is the next job to do. Sharpen these props. I'm also thinking maybe to do some work on the bottom. Now it's just a v hill flat. No lifting strikes. No steps. Nothing. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe to add some lifting strikes. Not permanently, but just for test. Because I think today it ran a little bit wet. It was stable, but yeah, it can be faster if it runs a little bit more loose. This hull is also pretty heavy with this twin 6S setup. I think it's about 4 kilos ready to run. Yeah, it's pretty heavy in the hand. So yes, maybe adding some lifting strikes to lift up the hull from the water, reducing the drag. And maybe even add some kind of a step from here, maybe make a small step and then add a back partition as well. But I'm not sure if I can do that on this existing hull or maybe I should make a new one and just keep this as it is. I mean 110 km an hour is not bad at all. So yes, more to come for this hull. I want to get it to 130 km an hour at least. So let's see what we can do in the future. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!